Are you a beginner rider who's looking to buy your first ever sport bike? Or are you an experienced one who's just looking for a sharp, small displacement sport bike to hone your skills on the racetrack? Or are you a Yamaha fanboy, same like a street racer that just wants to do knee drags on the race days? Now, this might be the bike for you. This is John Spaceship. This is a 2022 Yamaha R15 Air. Or mas Yamaha R15 version 4 M. Ito na mga pare ko eh. The 2022 Yamaha R15 version 4M. This is the World GP 60th Anniversary Edition guys. So sa motor na ito, yung fairings niya is yung, yung likod parang pareho pa din yung dati. Tapos yung, yung tank niya halos pareho pa rin ng version 3. At uh, syempre, and nandito pa rin yung uh, gills niya. Nang gills yung motor na ito. Tapos naka gold plated emblem na yung Yamaha uh, R15M. At saka yung isa sa mga pinakalaking nagbago sa motor na to is yung front fairing natin. So, eto, parang uh, Yamaha R7 yung itsura niya. Ito yung uh, DRLs niya or the LED daytime running lights. Tapos, yung headlight yung mga parikoy, dito na siya sa front natin. Isa na siyang uh, projector headlight. So, I think yung high tsaka low niyan is uh, na pinuproject ng isang uh, headlight lamang. Tapos, yung side mirrors niya halos pareho rin ng dati. So, yung Yamaha R15 version 4M, guys, is powered by the same makina compared sa R15 version 3. It's powered by a single cylinder, 155cc displacement na makina. Liquid cooled, 4 valves per cylinder, single overhead cams na siya. Kasi, meron din siyang variable valve actuation, which we will explain later kung ano yung uh, ibig sabihin nun. Maximum power is around 18.4 horsepower at 10,000 RPM and max torque is around 14.2 Nm at 7,500 RPM. Medyo bumaba lang ng konti yung horsepower figure niya compared sa old bike ng point something na lang. Actually guys, yung torque niya halos pareho pa rin pero it comes in 1,000 RPM earlier. Kumbaga, nasa yung peak torque niya guys at 7,500 RPM, na-achieve mo na siya. Unlike dati sa old bike na 8,500 RPM mo pa na-achieve yung peak torque niya. So, this should be a little little bit torquey. Yung front suspension natin guys is the same KYB 37mm inverted fork. Yun nga yung pinagkaiba lang dito ng uh, dito sa motor na ito is kulay gold lang siya and this is a KYB fork that is made in Indonesia. At sa likuran nyo naman mga pare ko ay eh, meron tayong KYB non-adjustable na monoshock pero with linkage siya sa ilalim para medyo yung damping ng uh, the mga bumps is uh, well absorbed, no? And of course, the swing arm is still the same. Yung maganda dito guys, kasi aluminum na yung swing arm niya. Pero what we got on this uh, specific bike is a silver painted swing arm compared sa isang model, saka mga older models natin, na itim yung uh, swing arm niya. And uh, syempre, yung silver swing arm nito is available lang sa World GP 68th Anniversary Edition ng motor na ito. And of course, we got these uh, exhaust. So, so, the exhaust is uh, halos pareho pa rin ng dati, except the exhaust, exhaust guard ba yung tawag dito, which is also painted in silver to match the whole bike. Sa braking power naman natin mga pare ko, eh, meron tayong disc brake sa harap na may 282mm na rotor. Front caliper natin is Vibri na siya, which this company is sister company ng Brembo, yeah, which Vibri means by Brembo. By the way guys, yung front brake natin is uh, dual piston na pala siya compared sa dati na single piston lang. Kasi nga, syempre M version, this is going to be on the race track and the twist is most of the time. So you're going to need a lot of stopping power sa front natin. So that's why it has dual piston brakes on the front. Yung sa likod natin guys, meron din tayong single disc brake which is uh, 220 millimeter na rotor. Tapos nisin calipers tayo sa likod. 
At for 2022, yung pinaka-okay dito sa bike na to is meron na siyang ABS. Ayun. Sa wakas, meron ng ABS guys. So, this is the ABS sensor. Tapos yung uh, master cylinder natin sa brakes natin is also missing. Front and the rear. Yung grip naman sa wrap guys is taken care of by an IRC road winner na tire. Which yung size niya is around 100 by 80 by 17. So 100 yung cross section niya guys. Tsaka medyo mataas yung height niya dito sa front ng gulong natin. Para syempre pag uh, banking banking mo medyo may cross section ka pa na matitira pag, uh, ano ka, pag uh, sumobra yung linanggol mo. Tsaka sa likod naman is taken care of by the same IRC road winner na tire. Pero yung size niya is 140 70 This is a very fat tire for a 155cc na motor. Kasi sa ibang uh, 150cc na motor eh, nasa 130 lang yung maximum na ano nila eh, na width. So let's take a look at our rear set. So yung rear set nito guys is napaka premium ng itsura. I don't know lang if this kind of rear set is pareho pa rin sa version 3. Pero this rear set is uh, very high quality. Aluminum din siya. Yung fit and finish niya is okay. Walang alog halos. Parang sunblast at saka or silver finish siya. Pareho rin ng ano natin, ng swing arm natin. Tsaka yung uh, exhaust guard natin. Let's take a look on the left rear set. So we have here our left rear set. So this is our left rear set. Ito yung ano natin, yung foot pegs natin. Mahaba yung ano tawag dito? I don't know. Ano yung tawag dito? Basta, pag nag kurbada tayo or nag banking ka, ito yung nag hit sa kalsada as uh, warning indicator sa'yo na medyo over ka na sa lean angle limit natin. Tapos eto, this is the shift pedal. At yung pinaka gusto ko sa bike na ito guys, it already has a quick shifter. Yun. So this is the quick shifter guys. Stock guys ha. This is a quick shifter. This is functioning at up shifts lang guys. So wala tayong auto blip or down shifts. So this works at 2,000 RPM above at 20 km per hour. So this should work. So how this works is magtutrottle kayo and then when you're going to shift up kahit hindi mo na pindutin yung clutch natin at saka hindi mo na i-blip yung throttle papasok pa rin yung cambio natin so it temporarily shuts off engine power para papasok yung cambio natin so that's how a quick shifter works so question kailan mo ba magagamit yung quick shifter of course on the race track and of course in everyday riding din pero is it really necessary in everyday riding okay lang naman pero when it, it when it comes to race track it really comes in handy pag hindi ka na kailangan mag-shift palagi kasi mas magiging mabilis na yung mga shifting natin. Yung fuel tank niya naman guys is 11 liters. Tapos yung average mileage niya naman is around 40 kilometers per liter pag uh, eco mode tayo. Pero syempre pag wall wall mode tayo, it will be 30 to 35 kilometers per liter. Which means that kung magtipid mode tayo sa pagra-ride natin, yung isang full tank natin is aabot siya ng 440 kilometers. Tapos uh, sobrang gaan itong motor na ito guys. Loaded na loaded siya and it only weighs around 142 kilograms. So, ayun. Sobrang gaan na yun, guys. For a fully fared na sport bike with ABS, slipper clutch, quick shifter, ayun. 142 kilograms lang siya. So, sa gauge cluster naman natin, mga pareko, at syempre, hindi natin paanda rin yung motor ito kasi hindi pa siya activated. Meron ng may-ari ng motor nito. Pero let us explain kung ano yung mga dito sa gauge cluster niya. Right? Syempre, meron siyang speedometer, odometer, at light passing switch. Andito rin yung traction control natin. Sa traction control natin, meron tayong dalawang modes. Street, tsaka track. When it comes to track naman, syempre, full power yung power output ng uh, motor na ito. Pagdating naman sa street, kakaiba yung throttle response. Medyo humina ng konti para di masyadong grabe yung feedback para komportable ka sa street. Ewan ko lang kung makikita nyo, pero meron siyang uh, individual LED lights. Ito yung uh, shift light natin. So, pag uh, nagsishift tayo, this lights up para to indicate na magsishift ka na. At uh, syempre, pag nag-street mode tayo, normal yung lumalabas sa dash natin. Tapos, pag nag-go uh, tayo sa track mode, umiba yung uh, display dito. So, yung hardware ay pareho, pareho din. Yung software ay iba. 
sa cockpit natin, eto yung uh, triple clamps natin, yung sa itaas niya, is meron siyang mga butas. Light and lighted nga, oh. Tapos, syempre, since sport bike tayo, nakaklip on handlebars na rin tayo, which is usually lower than the triple clamp. Kasi syempre naman, for a more sportier look. Tapos, kung hindi ka pa contento, pwede mo pa talagang i-lower yung handlebar na ito. Tapos, dito sa right handlebar natin, syempre, throttle natin. Ito yung uh, start-stop natin, run, tapos sa uh, start button natin or uh, ignition natin. And then, dito guys, for the right handlebar, dito guys, is uh, meron tayong hazard lights. Tapos, ito yung information sa dash natin, tsaka yung uh, trip meter natin. By the way, yung, infor, yung information dito guys, ito yung ginagamit mo para magkaroon ka ng or mag-switch ka ng mode sa traction control natin. And coming here sa left handlebar natin, we have the light. Ito yung low, ito yung high. This also serves as the pass button natin. At syempre, signal light, horn natin. Which stock horn ng Yamaha R15 guys is uh, dual horn na siya. Compared sa ibang motor na single horn lang. We have here... Uh, halogen turn signal switch uh, pareho pa rin ng dati pero kung ako lang papalitan ko yan ng LED tingnan natin guys yung likod dito napaka sexy guys so far sa 155cc or sa 150 category sport bikes natin it, eto na yung pinaka sexy na likod guys so this is uh, the tail section halos pareho pa rin ng dati tapos eto this fairing for aerodynamic purposes this tail section also eto yung extension natin this serves as the signal light mounts we have the signal lights here tapos yung plaka natin dito siya nilalagay when it comes to our pillion foot pegs eto yung pillion foot pegs na guys so kahit yung pillion foot pegs premium na premium siya I think this is aluminum casted aluminum tapos I think eto is uh, a uh, stainless steel yata stainless steel or aluminum I think it's a very high quality makikita mo talaga yung pagka uh, high quality sa fit and finish ng motor na ito. And when it comes to our seats, syempre, premium na premium din. Ito yung seats natin. This is a uh, carbon pattern na seat. Yung sa rider seat natin, tsaka yung pillion seat natin, halos pareho lang yung texture. At tsaka yung maganda dito guys, is hindi siya masyadong madulas. So if you're going around the racetrack, uh, syempre, you want a seat that you could move around para maka body position tayo. Yung, yung seat na hindi madulas. And of course, this is our pillion seat, which is not much kasi yung motor nito wasn't even designed to carry a pillion comfortably in the first place kasi yun na eh sport bike super sport bike na 155cc so most of the time you're going to be uh, using this on the racetrack on the twisty so medyo good luck sa OBR nyo or I suggest na wag na lang kayong mag uh, OBR dito pero if gusto nyo talaga pwede okay so tingnan natin guys kung ano yung nasa loob ng pillion seat niya so ito Tignan natin. Ayun. So, ano yung malalagay mo sa loob nito? Siguro limang kalamansi, tsaka dalawang kamatis, sibuyas, tsaka I don't know. Pero yung ORCR mo, pwede mo nang, pwede mo nang ilagay dito. So, we have here, I think this is the relay. Dito ECU. Tapos eto, this is for the screwdriver. Tapos eto yung pointed edge na screwdriver. Meron tayong Allen key. Tsaka, wala na. Yun lang guys. <laughs> Balik muna natin. Paano ba ito? Ibalik. So, pagbalik nyo, eh, gano'n nyo guys. So, yun. Tapos, yun. It's very easy. Yun. Lock na siya. At uh, eto lang yung ano, eto lang yung strap mo, strap ng OBR mo pag gusto niyang kumapit. Wala siyang grab bar. Eto lang. So, most probably, you're going to have a good time pag may OBR ka dito kasi yakap ng yakap siya talaga sa likod mo. Key features ng Yamaha R15M na gustong gusto natin. Meron siyang slipper clutch guys. Yung slipper clutch, yung purpose nun is medyo gumagaan yung clutch feel natin. Tsaka pag uh, nag-downshift tayo mula sa higher RPMs, hindi masyadong jerky yung rear wheel natin. Wala masyadong back torque para smooth yung corner entry natin at high speeds. VVA or variable valve actuation. So eto naman guys, yung VVA or variable valve actuation is meron siyang secondary lift cam kahit single overhead cam lang siya. Yung secondary lift cams natin is uh, tumataas siya at 7,400 RPM. So it provides you with a two-tone kind of power band. So pag lower RPMs, more torque tayo. Pag higher RPMs at 7,400 RPM, uh, nag-activate yung variable valve actuation natin para makapasok yung more air 
at saka ma-process ng makina natin. So, it has uh, more of a top-end power. So, it has the best of both worlds. Quick shifter. So, sa 155cc na category or sa 150, 150cc category guys, ito lang yung motor na may quick shifter. Kahit stock. By the way mga pare, kung yung seat height natin is 815mm. So, saktong-sakto lang sa average Filipino height. Hindi naman ganun kababa at hindi naman ganun kataas. Okay mga pare, kung the seat height of this bike is 815mm. So, I am about 5 to 2.5 in height and this is what I look like when I sit on this bike. So, I'm gonna put the side stand up. So, ito, isang uh, paako na yung nakatindig sa ilalim. So, kayang-kaya mga pare ko eh. For the average Filipino height, kayang-kaya, walang problema. Ayan, so medyo tiktol lang tayo. Pero sa sobrang gaan niya guys, hindi siya ganun kahirap eh. Ano, si Victoria Balan. So, kayang-kaya for a height like me. So yung seating position natin guys, uh, as I said, 815mm yung height ng seat height, tapos ako is 5'2 in height. Medyo okay naman yung ano yung reach ko dito. Hindi siya ganun kahaba, unlike sa ibang big bike. So kayang-kaya siya talaga yung reach natin. Uy, tapos yung clutch, sobrang ano, sobrang what do you call this? Ano ganyan mo, mok sa Tagalog? Uy, tapos yung clutch, eh, sobrang lambot guys, grabe. So kudos sa slipper clutch, kasi sobrang lambot ng clutch natin. Tsaka yun, if you're wondering or what the keys look like ito yung uh, keys natin guys so yun so this is what the key looks like so uh, syempre meron din siyang uh, safety shut off para safe tayo pagdating sa mga parking parking sa mga mall or sa mga commercial establishments natin at uh, ito I think these are plastic cups guys so uh, siguro tatanggalin na eh Hindi lang natin tatanggalin guys kasi parang naka-adhesive siya. Pero pag tinanggal mo to, uh, parang silver yung nasa likod ng yung cup na to guys. At ang tanong ng bayan mga pare ko ay, magkano tong motor na to? Alright, so the 2022 Yamaha R15M price is at 193,500 pesos. Special thanks dito sa Ernest Motorcycle and Parts Incorporated, Roja City Branch. Located po sila dito sa Premier de Mayo Street, Roja City. Sa Riverside po sila. If kukuha po kayo ng motor sa kanila, meron silang flex flexible down payment and an open contract maximum of 3 years. Kung dito ka kukuha ng motor sa kanila, meron silang 1 year free motorcycle registration, 1 year insurance for TPL and driver, 2 years warranty, lifetime free service yan mga pare ko eh. Lifetime discount on spare parts na din. Alright, shout out to Ernest Motorcycle and Parts Incorporated. Alright guys, it's time for our shout out ngayong uh, bike feature natin. So may tanong dito yung isang natin kaibigan, si Engineer April John the Hosto. So bro, pa shout out. Ano i uh, major difference bro versus sa current latest model sa R15 V3 or V4? Is the price difference really worth it? Yun. Actually bro, magandang tanong yan. By the way, this is the M version at this is the world 68 GP anniversary version. So I think the normal color nito is nasa 4,000 pesos cheaper. So para sa akin naman bro, medyo ano siya, medyo worth it siya if fan ka talaga ng uh, Yamaha. At uh, if uh, gusto mo talagang itry yung mga circuit na mga race, no? at saka mahilig ka talagang mag-banking-banking. Uh, Kasi number one, although yung makina niya is pareho lang naman, pero the torque is 1,000 RPM earlier, yung torque delivery natin. Tapos, syempre, tingnan mo naman yung bodywork niya. Yung itsura niya, guys, ang lakas maka R7. Sa malayo, parang baby R1 talaga siya. Other than that, syempre, with ABS ka na din. With slipper clutch ka na din. Tsaka, with the uh, traction control. So, may dalawang mode tayo. Street at tsaka track. At, uh, syempre, meron din tayong quick shifter. I believe, bro, sa mga ganong feature natin, I think it's really worth it kapag uh, ganong klaseng feature yung hinahanap mo sa motor. Para sa akin, bro, worth it na worth it siya. Tsaka, yung kulay niya is pearl white. So, yun. Sa pearl white palang na kulay, mahal yan. So, yun, bro. I hope uh, nasagot ko yung 
tanong natin. Another question is galing kay architect Ken Serrano. So, sabi niya guys, bakit ganyan siya kamahal? Ganyan siya kamahal guys, kasi number one, it is Yamaha. Ikalawa, this is their flagship model sa 155cc category. Tapos, ikatlo, syempre, kompleto rekados tayo. Meron tayong ABS front and rear natin. Naka-dual piston brake sa harap natin. Quick shifter, traction control, sleeper clutch, KYB suspension, inverted, loaded na loaded siya guys for a 155cc bike. So, hindi kayo makakakita ng uh, motor na ganyan ka-loaded sa ganyang displacement. At syempre, sa itsura pa lang guys. Oh. Tingnan nyo yan. Ang lakas maka R7. Parang R7 talaga siya guys. Except yung tunog niya kasi single cylinder lang naman siya. Yung fit and finish niya, super premium. Yung tolerances, yung switches, grabe guys, ang click is ano talaga, a premium na premium yung dating. So, I believe for 193,500 pesos, I know it's not for everybody, pero there are some people na dadalhin to sa racetrack. I think uh, makakamura na kayo dito kasi pwede siya sa racetrack. I mean, halos race ready na. And at the same time, street legal pa siya. So, magagamit yun rin sa kalsada. Alam naman natin, most of the time, sa kalsada ito gagamitin. Pero, some other times, sa racetrack na din. So, yun. Broken, Serrano. I hope uh, na sagot ko yung uh, tanong natin. Shoutout pala kay Ma'am Cheryl, Ma'am Juliet, at saka kay Sir Arnel for letting me uh, review the R15M. Guys, pag uh, gusto niyong uh, bumili ng motor, lapitan niyo lang po sila. Sobrang bait po nila. Ma'am, ano po yung masasabi natin? Uh, uh, first of all, no, thank you so much, Sir John, no, for uh, giving us an opportunity to you know, um, give review sa ating bagong motor. So, ikaw ang pinakaunang tinawagan namin Oy. pagdating ng motor, di ba? <laughs> Thank you, ha. And Thank you, ma'am. Yes, uh, um, anytime. And sa mga gusto po ang uh, kumuha ng motor, um, we are not only carrying Yamaha, but we, are, uh, we also have Kawasaki, Honda, Suzuki, yeah, and Yamaha. So, sa mga gusto mag-inquire, please do visit our page at IMAP Yamaha 3S and we're located at Premier De Mayo Street, Roja City, Riverside dito sa Capiz, yan So sa mga hindi kaya pumunta sa office uh, you can contact us at 0908-888-0686 or sa telephone number namin na 6212965 So ako po pala sa, uh, ang yung sales manager natin dito sa IMAP Yamaha 3S uh, I'm Juliet Joyce Kalinaw at your service. <laughs> and of course, dito sa Yamaha, syempre sa Ernest Motorcycle and Parts Inc. Uh, your satisfaction is our concern as always. Yeah. Thank you so much everyone for watching the reviews of our uh, R15M. Thank you so much. That's all. <laughs> all right. Thank you, ma'am. Ma. Maraming salamat po sa pagpapareview. Ah. Baka... May motor pa tayo dyan next time na pwedeng yes. ma-review. <laughs> next time naman ulit. Ikaw oh, next time. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir, sir Arnel. And thank you din, Ernest Motorcycle Parts Incorporated. Ayun. Thank you, guys. Alright, mga pare ko eh. Kung nagusto nyo yung bike feature natin ngayon, mag-like and subscribe na kayo sa channel natin. At syempre, huwag kalimutang i-click ang notification bell para updated kayo lagi sa bagong labas sa mga video natin. Alright. This is John Speed Shift. Over and out.